don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Okay. Please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, <laughs> baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's going to happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you pet his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. You know, if you want, we can take them riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Huh. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. 
It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence we can plant that. Hey, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? And who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. <laughs> Not much of a guard dog. Oh, that's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. To the left. Watch it. OK, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. That's good. Tommy's here. You good to go? Give me one second. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. You see that? Pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Give this all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men and nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys, <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure for mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. 